Hey everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub and in this tutorial, we'll be discussing the tissue that keeps our bodies moving without us even having to think about it, which is the very special tissue known as smooth muscle. As you may already know, muscle is one of the four major tissue types found in the human body, the other three being connective tissue, epithelial tissue, and nervous tissue. All muscle tissue is comprised of specialized cells known as myocytes, like the one seen here highlighted in green in this micrograph. These are the elongated cells that contain the contractile proteins actin and myosin in their cytoplasm. The cells are arranged in distinct bundles and can easily be distinguished from surrounding tissue. Not all muscle is created equally though, and in fact there are a few easily distinguishable subtypes. Muscle tissue is characterized according to its functional properties and the contractility of muscle cells into one of three major types, skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. Let's begin by talking briefly about the skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle, which you can see in the micrograph, is also known as voluntary muscle and is attached to bones and tendons. It's under the voluntary control of the somatic nervous system, or SNS. The second type of muscle found in the human body is the cardiac muscle tissue, an example of which is seen here in this micrograph. As the name suggests, this type of muscle tissue is found in the heart. The highly synchronized muscle contraction of the cardiac muscle cells transforms the heart into a pump, which sends blood throughout the body. The third muscle tissue type is what we'll be focusing on in this tutorial, and this is, of course, smooth muscle. We can see an example of smooth muscle tissue in this micrograph here. This type of tissue can also be referred to as involuntary muscle, because its activity is neither initiated nor monitored consciously. In this tutorial, we'll be looking, of course, in more detail at smooth muscle, looking particularly at where it can be found in the body, its structure and composition, and finally focusing in more detail on how it is structured in hollow organs, such as the digestive tract. So without further ado, let's get into it by looking at some examples of where we can find smooth muscle tissue in the body. As a general rule of thumb, we can find smooth muscle wherever involuntary contraction needs to take place, and one example of this is the walls of the gastrointestinal tract. Here, the smooth muscle layers function to support normal gastrointestinal motility through a combination of tonic contractions and forceful contractions. We'll be going into more detail later on about how smooth muscle functions in hollow organs, such as those seen here, to move matter through the digestive system. In addition, we can also find smooth muscle in the respiratory tract, specifically in the bronchi and the bronchioles, which are these structures just here. Here, smooth muscle helps to regulate airflow into the lungs. We can also find smooth muscle tissue in the uterus, specifically in the inner layer of the uterine wall known as the myometrium. Here smooth muscle functions to induce uterine contractions, for example during menstruation or labour. We can also find a small ring of smooth muscle in the eye, known as the ciliary muscle. This controls lens accommodation when viewing objects at varying distances, and also regulates the flow of aqueous humour into the canal of Schlen. The final example of smooth muscle I'll be mentioning today is that found in the blood vessels. Here, smooth muscle functions to regulate the caliber of the blood vessels by controlling the amount of vasodilation and vasoconstriction. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.